Hello, hello, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Mondays, or whatever the fuck we're wanting to call it. I hope you guys have had an had have a, yep, 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 yep. I hope you guys have had a great weekend, uh, and I hope you guys have uh, are ready for the rest of the week. And if not, me neither. Uh, hashtag same fam. Uh, but hey, that's okay. Here we're gonna murder people and have some fun. Um, legally, fictionally, for legal purposes, fic fictionally in the game, not actually murder people for legal reasons. I have to, I should clarify that. But anyway, hello everybody. I hope you all have been doing well, are doing well. And again, if not, same fam. Anyway, before we get started, Linktree, Patreon, check them out. That's all I'll say, because I talk way too much at the openings and at the closings. So, 
before we get properly started, let me quickly check, make sure, hey, yes, my microphone is working. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Yvonne B. I hope, uh, not hope, I see you there in the chat. I hope you are doing well. That's what I meant to, uh, the order of things I meant to say. But anyway, let's go ahead and leap of faith right on into this. Before we get properly started, I want to show you that, uh, show, catch you up on some of the grinding I've done. Um, just a little bit of grinding, just a little bit. So, 100%, 100%, 100%, oh, 97%, sequence three. I forgot about that, that's my bad. Uh, what am I missing? Right there, I have to kill the Chasseau without taking any damage. That's my bad, I'll do that eventually. Um... Language is a social construct. Fair, very fair. 100%, and we, I believe we are in... Uh, sequence five. Yes, sequence five is where we're at. These incomplete memories are the ones that are from the future. I have done about 49% of the assassin inter interceptions, um, as you can see here. Uh, I've not done any hunting challenges, and that's because I haven't found any. And that's because I have not really done much exploring of the river valley section of the map yet. Um, not really, at least. So as you can see, I have 100% of the New York collectibles in Waterfront District, Low Man Lower Manhattan District, East Village District, Kings Farm District, Green Greenwich District, uh, and whatever the fuck that is called district. Um, I have only about 14% of the va River Valley, and like I said, I haven't really been touching that at all. Uh, yet I've been mostly fo I focused on New York and now and then I focused on North Atlantic um, And I'll get to the other Eventually so as you can see 77% of the North Atlantic 60% of total taverns 50% of total viewpoints 46% of the Viking sword fragments 70% of the gang headquarters 66% of the forts 28% of the totems 56% of the Templar maps 38% of the renovations, 25% of settlements, and 12% of Templar relics. Now, looking at the Morrigan upgrades, as you can see here, I've completed uh, all of the Harpoon upgrades. I've completed about 77% of the storage upgrades and 82% of the weapons and armor. And what that means is I have one left here, one left here. Uh, that's complete. One left there, one left there. One left there, one left there. That's complete. That's complete. One left there, that's complete. Th one left there, one left there, one left there, one left there, one left there. That's complete, that's complete, and that's complete. So, everything except for the storage upgrades requires blueprints that I do not have yet. So as I will find those blueprints as I explore. So I'll probably I'll find I'll get them as I explore, basically. Um, now for the Shea upgrades, as you can see here, we have 73% of the swords, 70% of the pistols, and 61% of the outfits. And by which that means we have the French cutlass, the pirate scimitars, the colonial American cutlasses, the British cutlasses, the privateer cutlasses, the Scottish broadsword. The Hanger Sword, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that one, Sword, the English Infantry Hanger Sword, my mouse is in the way, let's get that out of the way, the Officer's Short Sword, and the Bastard Sword, ba Bastard Sword, which is the one I've been using, because it's the most powerful one I currently have. We do not have the Governor's Sword, the Hunting Saber, the Viking Sword, the Admiral's Lion Sword. We do have the Spanish Sword, uh, which is kind of middling. Uh, we do not have Altier's Sword, which is the strongest one in the game. Uh, we have the Katana and the Unity Sword, both of which I uh, uh, Katana I used pretty early on. Now, so that's all the swords. Now the pistol sets. We have the common flint locks. We have the pirate flint locks. We have the standard wheel locks. We have the Belgian engraved pistols. We have the Queen Anne's pistols. We have the Admiral's Lion pistol. We do not have the Indian flintlock. We do not have the Scottish flintlock. 
We do not have the English percussion flintlock, which I believe is the most powerful in the game. And we do have Edward's pistol, which we got at the start and which what I, was what I was using until I got the Admiral's lion, which is the same. It's not more powerful, but it is the same. As you can see there. Now, as for the outfits, we have the default assassin outfit from the start of the game. Look at him and his youngish self. We have the interim outfit, which is what he canonically is wearing at the moment. We have the Templar outfit, which is technically something he changes into soon. Uh, technically, he's joined the Templars already, but I believe that he has not technically swapped to the Templar uniform from the interim outfit yet. Canonically, I don't remember. Um, but we do also, in addition to the cannon outfits, we have the Explorer outfit, the Raider outfit, the Tracker outfit, which is a, a palette swap of the Assassin outfit, as you can see. We have the sharpshooter one. I like the little hat there like that, um, but I'm not going to wear it. Uh, we have the captain outfit, which is a little dashing if you do say, if I do say so myself. I wore that for a bit while running around doing some uh, 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 pri pri pirating, uh, privateering uh, in North Atlantic. I, re I wore that for a bit. Uh, then we have my favorite outfit, the dark assassin outfit. Um, which is just a black pattern with a dark red of the assassin outfit. I like that so much. We do not have the Versailles outfit, which is what he w canonically wears in when he's in France much later on in life. Uh, we have to complete the game for that, as you can see there. We do not have the native armor yet, uh, which, uh, doesn't, if I don't, I don't recall it giving any kind of extra boosts like the Mayan armor does for Edward or the, uh, uh, there's an equivalent that does boosts for Connor, um, but I don't recall it doing anything like that. I'll do a checks when I get it. When I I'll do checks on stuff when I do it later. Um, the eleventh, the Templar eleventh century armor. Um, we do not have that yet. We do not have the Templar enforcer armor. I love the red and gold coat personally. Um, the Viking armor, we do not have. We do, nor do we have the Templar Master Armor, which it's kind of a uh, assassiny kind of color scheme for the for the Templar coat, essentially. And then there's the Admiral outfit, which I have not yet unlocked yet, which is an upgrade for the Captain outfit, as you can see. Uh, then, nor do I have the Hunter outfit. I do have the Whaler outfit. I do have the Whaler outfit unlocked, um, but I do not have the Arctic Explorer frontiersman which look at that hat on him that hat and that coat look great the assassin killer outfit i do have uh it's what he supposedly canonically wore for a bit in history um but essentially uh if you remember in assassin's creed 4 there was the edward the legend outfit which was a outfit that edward historically wore late in his pirate career that's kind of what this assassin killer outfit is for shay <coughs> like the templar master and the uh templar other stuff so technically it's canon however it doesn't he doesn't wear that during the course of the game timeline then of course there's the previous ones from previous games the alta ears robes the Ezio robes the connor robes the edward outfit the Arno outfit from uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, which came out at around the same point in time as this game did. So that's all of the Shea upgrades. Now for crafting. I have the pistol holters. I have health grade one and two. Uh, do not have three, four. Do not have that. We do have these. And basically, if it's blue, I have it. So I'm just going to scroll through and stop talking for a second. Yeah, there we go. All right. And so as you can see here in the percentages, we have 50% of life upgrades. We have 54% of the darts and grenades upgrades, and we have 35% of the pouches upgrades. Oh, 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 one last thing I want to check uh, to show you guys. The uh, challenges completed. I have 52 out of 70 of the lone wolf challenges. As you can see, I only have one left to get right here down at the bottom. Um, Actually, it's 52 of total 70. Never mind. Uh, I only have one left of the Privateer 
challenges. I have a few left of the scout, as you can see. Um, a few left of the trapper. In fact, one of them, I'm going. This one up here, I'm going to be. Oops. This one up here, I'm going to be intentionally targeting for a bit. Uh, I really, I can't believe it. I have not pet fi pet five dogos yet. I cannot believe that that has that that oversight has occurred. So I will pet five dogs before the end of the stream today. Um, oh, three more dogs. But anyway, uh, I still ha I only have one of the warrior, and I've been struggling with it. I've been trying for it, but I've been struggling with it. I think what I need is I need the alt ear sword. I think. Uh, because none of my swords are currently fast enough or strong enough to do the, uh, five kills in 10 seconds with a smoke bomb. Uh, I've tried it with the hidden blades. I've tried it with, uh, my current, I've tried it with each of my current available swords and my hidden blades and it hasn't worked. Uh, and there's nothing really left that I can do that with at the moment, uh, so uh, that I ha that I've been able to do it successfully with. So we'll get to that eventually. As you can see, I have a few left of the financier ones, and one left of the performance, which is essentially just get 100% total sync in the entire game. All right. Now I've also done, in addition to the usual stuff. Uh, oh, bank is empty. Okay. As you can see, I have a shit ton of money in the bottom right hand, bottom left hand corner, the other right, Jamie. Uh, let's quickly access the fleet. <coughs> the Hermione has returned from completing a mission in Denmark. Um, as you can see, okay, so I didn't talk about this too much when I first unlocked it, but so basically. Throughout the course of the Seven Years' War, Shay is Shay has a fleet that are going out doing various missions that took place during the war, supposedly. Um, and you get various unlocked stuff from completing each of these once. Um, and each time you un unlock one, you unlock the next one, and so on and so forth. So, I have 19 out of 33 completed. As you can see, I have a little over- I have over halfway completed uh, for the British Seven Wars prog progression. That- Op that progression operates independently from the game uh, game progression. Uh, so basically, this stuff is happening over time while the game is happening, essentially. Um, it's just... Yeah. So, uh, let me... <sighs> no, I won't mess with that. But I wanted to show you guys that because that's where I've got some stuff. And with that has come things like... Uh, things that are on display. I don't remember what all is on display from those things. Um, I know I have some things in here that are on display from them. Uh, so like there's where I can look at my coats. Um, that was already there. This is where I can look at my swords, my pistols. These, I believe, these ships, these little model ships, I believe come from that. From completing the certain ones of the... Uh, fleet missions, I believe. Wow, that that really needs to get repaired. Like, holy shit, Shay! How did how did you let that happen and not rectify that shit, my dude? Um, and I don't think he has anything in here other than yeah. All right, so I just wanted to show you around the, this place a little bit. I showed you around it, man. This place is in tatters, man. You have a shit ton of money, my dude. How are you? How? Okay, fine. Whatever. 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 Just whatever. Alright. Let's see here. I'm missing a few renovations. That's why these are all green still. So let's... Let's pop over and do some of these renovations real quick. Just because... Um, I didn't have the, I didn't have the materials, and I may still not, because I've been, I've been struggling with trying to find enough wood and cloth, just in general. Um, I've been finding a lot of metal and stone, but not much in the way of wood and cloth. 
in the ships that I raid. So I might have to wait to do anything like this till after. Oh, I could do this one. Uh, though it would probably prevent me from being able to do much else. So I'll go ahead and renovate this building. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that probably wiped whoop, wrong button. Income has increased. Whoopie ding. Uh yeah, that 42 and 52, that wa wiped me out too much. I probably can't do it. Oh, doggo! 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 <laughs> Good boy! Such a good boy! Pet the doggo. Yay! I told you we'd do it before the end of the stream! Good boy! Okay. Um, anyway, so as you can see here, I have completed the map. Not completed the map, but I have unlocked the whole map for New York. <coughs> um, and, uh, let me show you the North, uh, North Atlantic done as you can see i have not fully been everywhere yet i haven't been in this section yet uh just because i literally literally this was this morning this doing this fort was literally this morning um so i did not have time to do anything else other than that fort <coughs> um but as you can see right here and now oops wrong button habit habit shameful habit uh, now for the River Valley, which again, as I've said before, I have not really done shit with. So, you know, that's going to be what we're starting on today. My plan for now is to go through, clear out the forts and the hideouts uh, along the River Valley. So this gang headquarters, this is a gang headquarters there, there's a fort there, gang headquarters there, and a fort up there. I'm going to do all of those, oops, like I did that one. Stop it. Mouse. Mouse is being mean. So we're going to quick travel up to Albany. Good old Albany. And time to do some murder! Moida! Moida! Moidalize him! Time to moidalize him! Also, there's an assassin interception here. Nope, focus. Dig in, Jamie. You can do the interceptions off the stream. In fact, you can do this off the stream, but it makes it easier to get to the mission you're going towards. So. I was in open conflict. Damn it. Fine. Fine. It's fine. We're just gonna. Okay. Oh, nope. Come on, Shay. It just suddenly started downpouring. I love it. All right. Now then. Yep, that's where, that's where this, uh, stalker is hiding. Come on, reveal yourself through my eagle vision, please. Actually. sleep y'all just go to sleep 
this just in everybody go the fuck to sleep oh well i killed the guy <laughs> i killed the person in the bushes all right let's rescue this british soldier well we can my most sincere thanks all right let's locate and kill the gang leader oh you saw nothing sir down this flag while we're here all right bingo oh wrong weapon oh well it's fine Go to sleep. You too. Fuck me. <clears throat> oh, poof. Gone. Dude automatically reset himself. Shit. <laughs> Gonna stab you both real quick, no. and then come. Oh. You know what? We're just gonna. Will you? Are you sure about that? I'm not sure you will. Leader killed. It wasn't elegant, but it happened. That's the important thing. All right. Now. Next. Nope, not that. Yeah, we'll hit. We'll go through here. We'll hit this one. Sail up this way, then hit that. Then sail down this way and hit that, then up hit that, and then up hit that. All right. All right, actually, before we go, though... Before we go, though... Before we go, though... We're going to the store. We're gonna do some shopping, some shopping, some shopping. We're gonna do some shopping. Yay! Do come in. All right, let's sell some tobacco. Some good old tobacco. Uh, just to double check, I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't mean to take a screenshot, but that's okay. Top up on these shit. All right. See you next time. Okay. Now. 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 Oh, let's go get this tavern while we're here. It's a nice, fun little thing here. Free the tavern! Free the tavern! Who the old sods catch that out of play? Way out of the upon the hill, steel age is bow and arrow down the water to take it. Blow your 
Shay, you keep doing them dirty, my dude. Nope, those are games. This is who I want to talk to. How's my crew doing? Crew? Crew's full. All right. All right. Now, there's a normal fox up there. How am I doing? I. Nope. Nope. That's not what we're doing. Not what we're doing. We're going to the Morgan. I had to catch myself. Was slipping into the grinding mode. Morgan, good old Mori. Mori, I want to check to make sure that we've that I that she's mind? been uh addict a bit. Yeah. All right, let's refill the burning oil barrels. We're good on everything else. Oh, I forgot to show you the appearance, the Morgan appearance stuff. We've got, you know, this is this is this is what it looks like. All right. All right, so back to the Morgan. There she is, beautiful ship. Almost fully kitted out. Beaut, she's a beaut. An absolute beaut. All right, babe, where are we going? All righty. Up to, nope, over to, nope. There we go, let's get the right marker. Hello, Monsieur Guest. Captain's hell! Get the maids free! Give voice your tires. Oh, Billy Ryan, well, Billy Master. Oh, Billy Ryan, oh, Billy Ryan. No, not that one. Nah. Nah. They sound like they're going through a cavern. Nah. Nah. Uh, let me... Let's look at the shanties I currently have. Quest items? No. Oh, it'd probably be under database, wouldn't it? Shanties. There they are. Billy Riley, Blood Red Roses, Bold Riley O. Bully in the alley, don't forget your old shipmates. Was you ever in Quebec? Fish in the sea, Johnny Boker. Oh, do me, Johnny Boker. Come rock and roll me over, do my Johnny Boker, do. Uh, Jolly Roventar. Your Johnny, Liverpool Judy's. Judy's. I'm looking for one specific one, and I'm trying to remember, and I'm trying to figure out if I already have it unlocked or not. I don't think I do. No, I don't think I do yet. Okay, that's fine. We'll settle on another one. I would love for them to not sound like they're running, like they're singing, like the boys are singing through a fucking, uh... You know what? I can just fast travel to here. I'm an idiot. Alright. Now, the... Yep. Gang hideout right here. Alrighty. All right, fellas. There you are. 
Nope. He's getting away. No, you don't. Would you fucking find him again? Stop it. All right. Shay, what are you doing, my dude? There you are. Come on, give me the gas mask. Run to your death, Burke. From the shadows, I strike. Get out, Shay. There we go. Okay. Now. There's the flag. There's the slaver. Shush. Cut down the flag, check, and check. Now to find that damn old slaver. Okie doke. There we go. And now we're up to here. But before we do that, it's gonna hit the store. Is there a store here? Yes, down by the Morgan. Is this way. Oh, my bad. Still peaceful around here. No criminals, no French. But I wouldn't. Um. Hello? Apparently the shop is closed. Okay. It's the fleet. Bank. Hey! Challenge completed. All right. Get the ammunition there, Shay. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. 
All right. Uh. All right. Sing you a song of the fish in the sea and it's windy weather my stormy weather boys when the wind blows we're all together boys always oh, consistently blow you winds blow johnny southwester shetty she goes windy weather my stormy weather boys when the wind blows all together, boys. Oh, that was a mine. All right. Commercial. Get the maid says it to the wind. Unfound me. <clears throat> Half sails. Fire. Good shot and finisher. On your mark, Captain. Fire. Ba da 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 Guy here? No, no guy here. Okay. Fine. Uh, we're not going through the front door. We're going up here to the left. Just gonna do that. Just to distract you enough so I can come over here and kick you in the face. All right. And now we're gonna. 
You know what? We're just gonna leave you to it, actually. right here so like it would be a shame not to pick up this chest because we are right literally there all right actually i'm gonna check something because there are some places in this on this map where you can just where you don't need to sail through uh so i'm gonna check something first we're gonna get that that because i never mind i missed it so fuck that um there are some places where you can just ru run through the fucking wilderness and this is apparently not one of them okay Basically, there are some places where I could just like run up this way and end up on this side of the little landmass. But it doesn't look like I can here. That's okay. Hey, my dude. Glad you just apparated in right when I needed you. Uh, sell. We're good on that. So buy ammo. Top that off. Top that off. Don't need any repairs. So allons-y. All right. Row boys, row boys, row. Oh, look at that sunrise or set or whatever it is. Cargo. Could be valuable cargo.
You know what? Hold on a second. Let me check something. Yeah. No, I'm not going to wear this yet. Okay. Pardon me, fellas. Just coming through. Y'all are in my way with your stupid hats. All right. Very angry sounding cat. All right. All right. Uh, Y'all see nothing. I miss. Climb, Shay, let's go. Climb, 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 climb. All right. Poor pupper. Poor po poisoned pupper. Oh, I can't reach from here. All right. How about now? Y'all saw nothing. See? Nothing. Come on, investigate. Okay, fine. Don't. Don't and say you did. Fine. <clears throat> Up. And, alright. Now. Click. Boom. Still gotta find that good old cleaner boy. Cleaner boy, killer boy, captain boy, leader boy. That's the word I'm looking for. There he is. There he is, the old fucker boy. Ah, damn. Fine. Where? 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 No. Now, where's that flag? There's that flag. <clears throat> All right. 
Another one bites the dust And another one gone That's another one gone Another one bites the dust Or whatever the fuck the lyrics are to that song And now we see Disgrace Evil as plain as the scar on his face Deception and outrage disgrace for shame Evil as plain as the scar on his face I would like. Nope. Okay, we're good. All right. Woo! Almost ended up in the water there. All right, now four. All right, so I need to go left, then right towards objective, then pass to the objective. Okay. No, not that one. No. Oh, it's so it's snowing. We're gonna sail right past that and go fight this fort. A, wall, a solid wall.
There we go. Ooh, sucks to be you guys. Just gonna take that while I'm here. Let them fight. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Alright, now we have one more fort commander to take care of. Just back up this way. Well, you know what y'all should do? You should all just fight each other. Instant Vikings. That is all the forts and stuff. So, yay. Yay, that. Um. What's 
service can I provide? Here the ship. Sell the debacky. Buy mortar and burn in oil. Again, I'm pretty sure I don't have enough to be able to get anything in here. And that's not blue. Okay. My thanks for your trust, Captain. <laughs> okay. Now for our mission. All right, guest, let's go. Hey, Vaughn, you still there? Just making sure. Making sure you didn't get distracted by something. Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. Hello, Ch Templar Grandmaster. At a Wally. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort, not two leagues from Yes, I know you are. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed, gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. I didn't say you weren't allowed to work on things, just that, you know, wanted you to be paying attention. Such a ship inland. As war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. Did I ever tell you the story of Madame Grenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but. I think I have a place where we can depart. Sail on! So what's the plan? We bombard the fort? It would be foolhardy if somebody stole that fort. Fine. We need to know what we're up against. I can take care of that. Let's find a safe place to dock. Keep her safe. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck. Master Kenway. Just a second. Here we go.
Shit, I haven't been looking to see what my bonus thing is. Oh well, hopefully I didn't immediately fuck it up. Uh, I'll reload the last checkpoint and see if I immediately fucked it up. <laughs> Go to the fort. Okay, I did not immediately fuck it up. Keep the Morrigan close, Gist. I make my own look. Go this way. I didn't see this way before. killed a bear <sighs> all right I'm gonna go make sure that bear doesn't go to waste Just skinned a black bear. Hold that thought. Uh, it's over here. All right. Shush. Okay. Interactable? No, it's not. Okay. Um. Shay. Open that, open that, open that quickly. All right. Now then, back to where I was, which was up hither. I... I mean, you could ask Blue Cubby what a bear tastes like. I'm sure he, I'm sure a bear tastes like any other man you put in your mouth. I'm not sorry. But Blue Cubby could check me on that. Bear. And we're just gonna. There's the Experto Cred. Credi. Crede. Experto Crede. Excuse me. All right. Do I have yet any bonuses? I do not. Okay.
Shush. No alarm bell for you. I mean, I don't know why you have so much troubles with it. Shish. Fine, no combat. See, no combat. Oh, sweet. Oh, fuck me. Just sleep. Uh, okay, fine. Come here. Ow. Ow. Son of a bitch. No, not that. And because he picked up the body instead of the gun, he got shot in the back. Do you have to be a subscriber? I don't think so. You've you've done clips off of my channel before, Yvonne. <clears throat> I think it's just that you try... Uh, there is, I think there is a command. Try exclamation mark subscribe, or not subscribe, uh, exclamation mark clip. So it's probably too late now. I don't think so. That's actually an important question. You're a mod. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Hold on. Yeah, no, I haven't said that anybody that followers only and you're a follower. I don't know. Clips are enabled. It is not subscribers only. And there's no categories that are excluded. And you've been a follower for way more than 10 minutes. I don't know. I think it, it might be just your computer or your internet, actually. More is what I was meaning than your computer. Okay. Now that. Nobody saw anything. Turn around. Yeah. 
Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal chain. Do not let the Morgan get hit by by mortar fire. Okay. Can do. He's beached his ship! A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Hello, I will circle around. Do not kill anyone except for Ade. Ade. My least favorite mission out of all of them. Stop you! You saw nothing. I'm running really low. Do I have any bone? I think I have bone. Oh, I do. I have at least two because I uh, of the two bears. Uh, make as many of these as I can. Only two more. Make it work. Now then, let's go ahead and do that since we're in here. That since we're in here. All right, just to check that there's not any others that I missed. No, okay. Okay. All right, there's a stalker over there. If so far so good, don't kill anyone. Yep.
Haytham and Ade shouting insults at each other. Haytham talking about Edward. <laughs> of course, there's an ad going, so nobody's seeing this. Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. Not let him succeed. You have become a monster, she. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the wars aren't really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in... I didn't hurt Achilles, I hurt Adewale. I killed Ade. Adewale. Edward's right-hand man. What is our progress on That's the Achilles. We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. Yet to find where hope is hiding, and most criminals in New York report to her now. I better find the Grand Master. Hi, Howie, by the way. Before we go do that, though, I'm I feel like because Shay just killed Adewale, that he deserves a change in clothes. My least favorite mission out of all of them, but it's also the most beautifully done. Because it has Haytham come in contact with Ade. Haytham, the son. Hey, don't worry. I'll never forgive myself for killing Ade either. And I've now done it twice in my life. Uh. <clears throat> anyway, it's a beautiful scene because you've got Haytham and Ade facing off shouting to each other up, up, about Edward, Haytham's father. Ah, oh, my heart. So beautiful, but I hate it so much. But yeah, I think I think it's an official time for him to have a Templar uh, the, wear the actual Templar uniform. Yes, exactly. The thing, the thing about Shay is he shows so much remorse for having to do what he does, but he genuinely believes that he's doing the right thing. 
because he genuinely believes that the assassins under Achilles direction will bring more harm than good. And objectively speaking, he is correct because of their blind, desperate push to recover these specific pieces of Eden purely for the purpose of keeping them out of Templar hands, which while a valuable thing, the Templars wouldn't even know about them if it wasn't for the fucking assassins going after them. And instead of listening to reason or anything, Achilles just keeps pushing towards these artifacts. And Shay believes that Achilles has lost his mind. And arguably, because of his loss, the loss of his wife and son, it is quite possible that he has. And I truly believe... I don't remember for sure, but that's one of the things that I, this is one of the things I'm wanting to pay attention to in this gameplay through uh, for my own personal reasons. But I've believed up till, you know, up till this potentially this playthrough that Shay was has been truly in a situation of. I will do what I have to do to save the world from Achilles's desperation and pain. And by the time he one realized he was with the Templars, which was earlier in this thing, and two making headway against it, he was already in too deep and could not pull out. That's and that makes this a tragedy. A man who truly truly thinks he's doing the right thing out of the desperation of preventing pe uh, more deaths of great numbers of people ending up taking the wrong side out of that desperation of saving people's lives and then not and then being in too deep to quit and the like that's that's how I've viewed Shay and That is incorrect. Like, I appreciate that view, and there's a little bit of that. There's a very little bit of that. But he also sees, uh, there's also, uh, yeah, it's not fully incorrect, to be fair. It's not fully incorrect, because he does see that a lot. But he also knows that the assassins are not wrong about the Templars. It's just very much the, the threat of the one is worse than the threat of the other at this moment but he very much is by a point if i remember correctly because again like you like for you it's been a while since you played it it's been a while since i played this too and that's one of the things that i'm wanting to uh one of the reasons why i've been excited to replay this because i want to confirm or alter my opinion of shay based on this so like you know it's very much by the t point in time if I remember correctly, by the point in time he reaches, like, the end of the game, it's very much this thing of, I've made the deal with the devil, and now I have to, now I'm stuck with it, essentially. And it's, like, he's in too deep, he can't pull out, and so he just has to now dedicate his life to the cause of the Templars, no matter what he dislikes about it, you know? That's, that's my remembrance of it, and it may be wrong. Um, that's one of the things, like I keep saying, that's one of the things I'm wanting to, uh, dis discover about, no, well, uh, rediscover while playing this. However, uh, Yvonne, I think, I think it was Yvonne who observed, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that it was very much, it's very much the situation of if both Achilles and Shay just cooled their heels and sat down and talked, 
I just fucking talked it out, then none of this would have happened. But instead, we have the hot-tempered Shay make the desperate, the desperate, um, play that he does, and the hot-tempered, desperate Achilles trying to make his mark and protect the world from the Templars. That might have been the queen. That might have been the queen. You're right, Yvonne. That might have been a queen. And yes, this did come out at basically the same time as AC Unity. Um, and it doesn't... I... <sighs> Unity does a decent job of making it this kind of a... Uh... <sighs> the or Unity's approach to the Templars... It's very much this thing of the people aren't always bad, but the organization is, right? So, like, without saying names or spoilers for anybody who hasn't played that game yet, and we haven't played it on the stream yet, that, that will be soon, but not yet. Um, there is a character who is actually a good person, um, but is a Templar, but the rest of the Templars are trash. And the truth of the matter is, basically it's very much, yes, that uh, that's basically the whole, yeah. The organization is trash, is bad, and their goal is bad, but the but the people are not necessarily always bad. Um, uh, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, Fire Nation. The Fire Nation. Not all, not everybody in the Fire Nation is bad and evil, but it's as a whole in the first in the Avatar series, the Fire Nation are the bad guys. You know, and so that's kind of what that's kind of how it is on both sides of the thing. Like this, this game very much shows that just because the the assassins are the ones that are objectively correct, that does not mean that the people inside of it are always good people, and that even if they are good people, good people make mistakes, which is what Achilles does. And it's what Shay does too. Shay, this game is a, a, a whole list of mistakes that Shay makes one after another. Uh, no. Uh, Howie, no, that's, no. Because it's not the creed of the assassins that makes uh, Achilles evil. Achilles is actually not following the creed. Um, and the Templar structure of the Templars is not good either. Because their structure is very, they're explicit. Not implied, not hinted at. They explicitly state that their that their goal is for nobody to have freedom except for the temp the actual members of the templars that they will rule the world in complete and utter tyranny with nobody having any choice or any freedom that is the templar's explicit statement and goal um Whereas the Assassin's Creed demands that the that the members of the Creed be wise. Yes, they can go hunt down these ancient artifacts, but should they? And <coughs> Achilles is so wrapped up with his assumption that these that all of the artifacts are like the apples that they've encountered. That these artifacts could not possibly be something as important as generators that keep the tectonic plates in place. And that if you remove them or break them, then a great tectonic shift happens, which is exactly what the, uh, if I recall correctly, is exactly what the uh, canon explanation of why they caused the earthquakes. 
He doesn't even listen to the possibility that that might be the case. And Achilles is so focused, so wrapped up in himself and probably even his grief, if we're honest, because <clears throat> his the death of his family was very recent to this game. Like there's literally a point where uh, Shay is talking about their de the death of his of Achilles' family and how much it's how tragic that was before he left the assassins. So like somewhere nebulously at the start of this game is when that death those deaths occurred. So Achilles is very much dealing with his grief by not dealing with his grief. And so it's the grief mixed with the desperation of and mixed with the assumptions mixed with all this other stuff that leads Achilles to push for these things. See, there's, there's an, there's something you're forgetting in there. There's something you're specifically ignoring in that, in that view. There's a whole mechanic in all of the games from Assassin's Creed 2 onwards. Ezio does it. Connor does it. Uh, Edward does it. It's not just Shay that has that mechanic. In fact, the reason why Shay is good at it is because he was an assassin once. If you look at the communities canonically within the games, if you look at the communities that have been led and built up only by Templars, they're rotting. They're rotting. They're unhappy. They're falling apart. Connor does it a lot. It's not as focused on because it's not part of the storyline. But it's all of the side missions of gathering the people to Davenport Homestead and building that place up and giving them homes and stuff like that. That is building up a community. The, tr the canonical things within the game, the canonical implications within these games is always that the assassins are the ones that are good at it. Well, to be fair, the the games only show can only show so much no they don't shay does it everywhere shay does it everywhere that's the thing you're missing shay does it shay the former assassin they show numerous times throughout the course of these games that whenever the Templars have pure, complete control, they show throughout the course of these games that whenever the Templars have complete, unchecked control of a community, they don't build it up. They leave it to rot. Rome under the Borgias in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Um, Con uh, Constantinople under the uh, Templars there. And so on and so forth. The only reason why this is the why this is the case here, and the only reason the Templars uh, prompted Shay to build up the community, was purely because it was an. Ex 
the only reason they prompted him to was because they knew they could pit this former assassin against the rest of the assassins. But if you actually look at what the assassins are doing, like they talk about how they're building these poisons or whatever, but what the assassins are actually doing is nothing like that. The, the poisons they're building are sleep, uh, uh, are the sleep stuff, the sleep gas, the, and the berserk gas. It's not a big poison that will, like, ro that will kill everybody in the, uh, community like they claim it will. It's purely just what they put in their sleep darts and stuff like that. And it's very much, the thing about this game, uh, Freedom Cry, no, that's this game. It's this game with the with the Freedom Cry is the one that doesn't have a lot of built, uh, economics to it because it's not a full game. It's a DLC. But the th the important thing is what as I was about to say, the thing with this game is you have to you can't take anything that is said by the Templars at face value because the Templars have always and are always a master of half-truths and telling you exactly what they know you need to hear to get you to do what you need them to do. Especially the colonial Templars under Haytham were masters of that. They were masters of it because Haytham was so charismatic. So you have to keep in mind in this game, the te just because the Templars say a thing does not make it true. And you have to look at the environmental storytelling that goes along with it. Um, perfect example is that gas I was talking about. They send Shay uh, on this urgent emergency quest to go destroy an assassin hideout where this where the gang where the gang of killers is manufacturing a deadly toxin that they have threatened to unleash on the community none of that is true the deadly toxin well, okay, the gang of killers is, because assassins. But the deadly toxin, when you get there and you blow up the canisters, all it does is put people to sleep. It's the same stuff they put in the sleep darts. That's it. And it's very much this, th and you know the assassins. The assassins would never threaten innocence. Save your blade from the flesh of an innocent is part of their creed. They would never turn the gas on uh, any gas, even if it was a deadly toxin. They would never turn it on the community at large. It was a misinformation campaign by the Templars to get Shay to go and blow up the assassins access to their uh, to some of their uh, sleep sleep gas, sleep dart stuff. The, again, Achilles, Achilles, the first earthquake, the first earthquake in Haiti, they did not attribute to the artifact because the assassin that was sent to recover that artifact did not survive. When Shay was sent to recover the second artifact at the second earthquake in Lisbon, which is the one we experience in this game. No. Incorrect. Incorrect. Because again, as I'm saying, the artifact, when Shay was sent to the artifact, he said, holy shit, this thing is dangerous. It should have been left alone. And yes, they do go after a third in this game, but, but the reasoning for it is very, very much explained. They go after the third one in this game because Achilles refuses to believe that sh what Shay said coming back. And then Achilles insists that he was 
the reason he was claiming that was because Shay had already been turned to the Templars and had already betrayed them. That's why they go after the third. Because Achilles insists upon it. And as I've already established, Achilles is... Uh, Achilles was not using logic, he was not using wisdom, and he was not dealing with his grief properly. He was desperate, he was uh, refusing to listen to reason, and he was refusing to even stop and consider that he might be wrong. That's not an unhealthy disregard for life, that's an I can't be wrong about this. I mean, technically, he didn't outrank Ade. It was very much... He's in charge of the colonial assassins. It, the hierarchy is unclear. But anyway, point is... It wasn't... It's not a disregard for life. It's not a disregard for life. It's a narcissistic and grief-stricken and desperate desperation to be correct. And the refusal to listen to the warnings of others. That's not a disregard for human life. I wouldn't even call it corruption. I'd call it a grieving man who doesn't, who didn't know how to handle his emotions in a time period where black men were not treated as humans. Disregard for human life would have required him to acknowledge that what he was doing was actively harmful to the pe to the people. Earthquakes happen. There's the truth of the matter is they have no evidence that these art up until this point they had no evidence that these artifacts could p possibly be powerful enough to do earthquakes. In fact, when Shay gets back. Half of the discussion from his allies is before Achilles walks in. The Liam and the and Hope and the others are saying, "How, how, how are these artifacts that powerful? There's no way they're that powerful. They've never been that powerful before." Again, that requires him to be thinking clearly and thinking logically. And when you're grief stricken and not dealing with your logic properly and not dealing with your grief properly, I mean, you aren't thinking logically, let alone wisely. Achilles allowed his emotions to take over. That doesn't make him corrupt. That makes him human. It may, it's mistakes, and he, he does have a crushing amount of, it's not mistakes. I, I mean, he does make a lot of mistakes, and he does have a crushing amount of guilt on his conscience. And we see that guilt. By the time he has Connor, he has that guilt. Something, he's a broken man. When we, when Connor finds him. And by the end of that game, by the time he passes in Assassin's Creed 3, Achilles has redeemed himself at least somewhat. But it's very much this thing of... That I agree with. Everyone in Rogue is just a person trying to do their best with the tools they have available to them. 100% agree. And Templars included, yes and no. Because, I mean, if you use that statement to justify what the Templars' goal is, it's very easy to do the same for real-world despots and tyrants. It's very easy to do the same. So you have to be careful with that because in the end everyone in the world is just a person trying to do their best with the tools that they have available to them and sometimes their best 
harms other people. And sometimes that person is okay with that. Sometimes it means having children building cell phones in, the, in a factory. Sometimes it means people dying in their blood, blood diamond mines. But in the end, the people causing those deaths are just people trying to do the best with the tools they have available to them. Hard disagree. Because any Templar regime, any Templar regime, by definition, by definition, any Templar regime is going to be a rotted husk of slavery. The Templars, by definition, can never run a living, thriving, free society. Because it is completely antithetical to the entire purpose of the Templars. And the reason you disagree is because you have miss, uh, what's the word? Uh, you have several assumptions you have made and misinterpretations of things established canonically within the games and the fiction of the, of the Assassin's Creed universe. Anyway, Yvonne was right. It's nine o'clock. I should get back to the actual game. Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. The Pope controls hundreds of men. And the authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big. We couldn't ignore those damned brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Get him, Shay. We'll need more blood. I think we're being followed. You're right. Let's move. Come on! I'm too young to die! Hurry, you fool! Or we're both dead men! While I do agree that art is subjective and that different perspectives are important to develop a, a well-rounded view, blah, 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 if you have an incorrect assumption that leads you to your that leads you into the view of the art that you're looking at and examining, you will never come to a reasonable perspective. Crime under control and not a Don't we make a disgraceful pair of crooks? Now, I make this look good. So what's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember, you raise the flag and I'll raise hell. Anyway, I will say, Howie, if you'd act, if you actually, I know you have a life and all of that, um, and work and tire and are tired and all of that. That's fine. But if you actually had watched all of my streams and all of the storyline and gameplay, then you would absolutely realize how incorrect your ast initial assumption is. Statement of God damn it. Statement of intent by ancient people who want world domination doesn't mean that the world can't be reformed. That's the whole point of unity and the assassins ruin that. Uh, again, hard disagree. Initial misunderstanding of the actual plot line of the game.
out of the two of us, which of us actually plays this se game series to its completion without complaining about DLC and the like? Which of us has multiple times and in most of instances of the games played the games to 100% completion? Which of us has actually done buttloads of research into the lore of the game and the series? And uninformed opinion can still be an incorrect one. every chest in the book. What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. It worked, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damn brigands. I make my own luck. Oh, shit. Lockpick two doors. Oops. Eh, I'll do that later. Ooh, the caress of steel. Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, he'll kill you. She's in that big mansion. The one with the gardens. Shall we go? You didn't mention you had a hidden blade. You thought you were the only one? Well, yes. 
Yes, I suppose. Where did you get that? It was donated by the brothers. I see. Our mission was a success. The army should make its move any time now. Good. We like the resources in New York to handle these criminals ourselves. With a little luck, we might be rid of them once and for all. I make my own look. Now That's like the fifth time he said that in the last hour. Hey, hey, them. We can confirm the woman I is go inside. I'm going to get home myself. Very well. Time to smoke her out. We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. How? About time you showed up. <coughs> Sorry it had to come to this, Shay. You were a fascinating fellow. And damaged by the... Immediately damaged by the... Immediately failed the objective. Put this. Let's try this way. Oh, geez. Jay, I think you're putting on some weight, my dude. If you're if you're breaking those things like that. Uh, location goal. Uh, ah, there. Okay. So, here. There we go. And then over. And down. Down. <coughs> up. And up. All right. More endurance than I expected. Ow. What is this? Oh, I <coughs> my eye. I have to move. That's it. Moving keeps my heart beating. Have a word, nope, you don't see me. You, you saw me. Well, so much for staying out of combat. And I'll worry about it later. Can I just go through this way? 
Apparently not. Nope, wrong way. Damn. All right. Fuck me, come on! Oh, fuck me, of course she did. shake Time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential. In the Atlantic again. Shay and the Templars are going after the assassin expedition. Real quick, how far into the game am I? We're in the final sequence of the game. Oh shit. So, in that case. Go team! In that case, I am actually not going to complete this mission yet. 
because of reasons. So, 930, do I want to go ahead and call it here? No, no, I do not. Um, let's do some exploration. All right, we are going to sail over here. Fades out. Let's go. Loose capsules, gallants and royals. Now then, where should we go first? Let's go here. The HMS Miranda shipwreck. Our school to be rollicking and Y'all actually attacking me or no? Yes, you are actually attacking me. Okay. Damn it. I almost had him. <sighs> Alright. That's okay. That's not what... They weren't what I wanted anyway. I'm not really worrying about ships unless they have cloth and wood. Cloth and wood. Well, 
I said what I said, and I meant what I said. <laughs> Like true British sailors, we'll run and we'll roar. God damn it. This is not how physics works, Shay. Climb, my dude. Jesus. And you're holding the buttons and he's not doing the thing. No, Shay. How am I doing on those? I can actually do some upgrades. Yeah. 
Yes, yes we can, Mr. Gast. Um, let's go for fruit quarters. Alright, and now back to what we were going for. A lot of cloth. Nah. We actually didn't. Not really, at least. Alright. Now we gotta stay out of the freezing cold fucking water. Penguins! Penglings! I have a Templar map for this area, okay. Uh, let's see here, where... First off, where am I? I am... 724179, wrong page. Okay, 724176 is pretty close. Um, so that means I need this button. There it is. Okay. All right, so we'll keep an eye out for that uh, somewhere. Now then. How? How now? There it is. Oh god, into the drink. Into the freezing cold drink. Alright. What's up here? Yeah, hey, the blueprints! Elite mortars, hell yeah. Bear! And that was a polar pair. Alright.
next? How much more do I got here? Um, chest, chest, and gun cross. Okay. Yeah, two chests and then the the cross. Okay. Oh, sorry, Shay. Get out of the water. Or it starts freezing too much. All right, where to go? There it is. So I have a chest, which is over here, and we have that uh, map, which I have not yet solved yet. Okay. Okay. <coughs> All right, let's look at this. Curious. It's six, so over here. Okay. If my if I'm right, it's over here somewhere. We shall see if I'm actually able to get over there without dying. Sorry, Shay. Not really. You killed out the Wale. Penguins. All right. Um. That's the wrong thing. Um, <sighs> there it is. All right, marked it off. That should be complete. Yep. All right. There next. Oh. Rowboat. Is there a ro rowboat? Some over here. Check. There you go. All right, let's poke our head back in here. See if when I fast traveled it respawned this polar bear. Hit. Right. Actually, hold on, I just had a thought, or a realization. I'm not 
upgraded enough to take on these legendary ships. But we can do this. Alright. I believe, if I remember correctly, this is one of those DLC locations. Bolt the sob. Uh, excuse me. Kind of like those little islands that we would find in, uh, that we found in, um, Black Flag. Found. That were marked on the map like this. No. Hey, 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 hey. I mean, good catch, Shay. Stop right. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Alright, we want to go here. Let's just shank you. Hmm. Ha 
Aha. Stop you. Your mother Nah, I'm not gonna loot them. All right, we have six minutes. I would hope the gang leader de detected me after I s squished him like that. <clears throat> Next. Oh, I should go try to get that, huh? Uh, let's see if it'll let me at least. Leave me alone. Oh, hi. Bruh. Select all the Templar crosses to unlock this door. Okay, so after I complete that, I'll be back here to do the rest of that. Or to do that specifically, I mean.
That's a beautiful looking moon. Look at that. Woo! Oh, oh, excuse me. One. location uh it looks like there's one here yes oh thank god that was a guess all right now i have one last chest to get and it's right there and then we'll be done here and we'll call it a night Complete except for James and the James gun armor. I wonder if it's gonna look like the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> oh god, okay. Um anyway, while I'm escaping this combat and getting back uh, going back to my ship, thank you for tuning in and hanging out with me as I play through this game. Um hope I didn't chase any of you guys away with how uh impassioned I am about uh how people about this you know, about this series and the like um and if i did i'm sorry not really but i'm sorry you feel that yeah i'm sorry you were scared away but i'm not sorry for how impassioned i am about it um it's just that yes well essentially yes well art is is subjective there is also very much uh an objective element to it uh, and anyway, that's not the point. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Tomorrow we'll be playing a uh, not Assassin's Creed, uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary. Um, let's see here. Do I have anything else to announce or anything like that? Not really. Uh, oops, wrong button. Check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. In fact, if you go to the link tree as I list, have listed right here, you'll also find links to my Discord, my socials, my Twitch if you're watching if you're not watching this on Twitch, or or my YouTube if you are watching this on Twitch. Um, so please check those out. Um, I also have a link to my Patreon, which is also listed on screen as you can see. Uh, and so if you feel so inclined, uh, to support me through that, that would be great. Otherwise, that's okay. No hard feelings or anything like that. All my content will still remain to be free for now. Um, for the foreseeable future. Um, anyway, like I said, tomorrow we'll be playing Tomb Raider Anniversary. Uh, and until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out. Wow.